Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to do an injector bus test on these uh, 7.3 diesels. This works on the older body style 7.3 power strokes and the newer body style. So up to 2003 and as low as OBD2 came in those older models. Um, so uh, first thing you need to get this product right here. It's the only one I ever could find that it would actually work. So you plug that in here. You turn your ignition on. Don't crank it, just turn it on. Then you want to buy an app called Car Gauge Pro. Uh, so it only works on Android. So that's why I'm using one of my older phones. Uh, so you hit connect. This is a Ford. And uh, this, is, this app's still a little weird. So uh, select powertrain, then go to full auto scan. And uh, make sure you leave your key on during this whole process here. So it's checking for that. Now I did already link these two. Uh, it's very easy to do. You just plug it in and find it. So you just click on that little tin number. I'm not sure what it represents. Then this scans for all valid PIDs. So uh, all the sensors, things of that nature. So this takes probably five five minutes or a little less so I'm just gonna skip ahead to when it's done it's gonna pop up like this uh, I'm not exactly sure what this does because I never can recall the PID, PID list so I just name it what it already is this is a f350 so I hit save or exists I replace that so you want to go to diagnosis self test and then we'll come outside Okay, so uh, I've already done this, but this I'll just do it again to show you how to. You hit diesel injector buzz, and then you listen. Okay, so then we go back over here, let it keep going through. Okay, uh, so I actually have this one unplugged, so that's understandable. This is because I disconnect the battery after I'm done messing with it, because it, I don't work on this every day. Uh, and this just has a faulty sensor here, or it's clogged up. Uh, so what you're looking for in the noise is that very first one, it's all eight injectors buzzing at once. That's why it's a lot louder. Uh, then the next eight are each individual injectors and it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in that order. Um, so it skips side to side, side to side, side. So you're looking for uh, good injectors normally have a louder buzz. Uh, this I think has two good injectors, but uh, I'm advising the customer to get, go ahead and replace all eight. This has 372,000 miles on it. If I'm not mistaken, um, and I already have the valve covers pulled. So another way you can check these, see if I can get out of the light. So when you have it running, there's a. Uh, I got the valve covers off. These right here, these are your drains for your oil, and you should have oil coming out of these, squirting out of these, just kind of like a little squirt. Um, when it cranks up and is running, if you have one that's not shooting oil out, that injector is not functioning at all. So, in this case, when it's cold, or when it's 90 degrees outside right now, but before the engine's warmed up, only two work. Once the engine's warmed up, all of them work perfect. Um, so I'm advising the customer just to replace all of them so we can be done with it and not have to worry about it again. And another thing, if you ever have these valve covers checked and everything, you want to pull and uh, check your actual turbo, compressor wheel and stuff like that. So that one's ate up. Uh, the previous owner from this 
never changed the air filter it didn't seem like and that has a lot of play so I advise the customer to replace that or get me to rebuild it one of the two thanks for watching